surely strong winds actually destroyed a Chipotle and damaged several other businesses at a strip mall on Montauk Highway in Shirley. News 12 Long Island's Andrew Ethlinger begins our team coverage right now here in Shirley. Andrew. Parts of Long Island tonight in recovery mode after a fast moving storm this afternoon batters the island. Here we are in Shirley and you can see the unbelievably strong winds that ripped off the parapet off the front of a Chipotle restaurant here. Officials say there were people inside the restaurant, but no one was hurt. Still, the unbelievably strong winds frightening those who found themselves right in the middle of it all. Oh my God, oh my God. Christine Huron shot this video in Shirley sounding utterly terrified as the storm surrounded her car. Moments later, Yvette Alfano ran into her Shirley home, gathering her family in the basement after getting the tornado warning on her phone. It was just no time. We just started seeing things fly around and the lights, and flickering. The lights were flickering. Several trees in and around her property were uprooted in seconds, she says. A car in the driveway damaged her new trampoline airlifted into a nearby tree. Officials say her property wasn't the only one hit. We've had about a dozen calls in the last couple hours. Um, this area obviously got hit pretty hard, as well as on the other side of uh, William Floyd Parkway. Just west of here in Oakdale. It sounded like a bomb went off. It was just, you know, light flashes really quick. Nick Russell watched the storm approach and topple an old tree into his five-unit apartment building. I was sitting right at that window and the wind started moving down the street like I'd never seen. And I called out, the tree was coming down and my fiance luckily ran into the bathroom just in time. Fire officials say 10 people and five pets live in the building. The tree damage caused a small gas leak, which was capped, but officials say the building will be uninhabitable for the very near future. Luckily, there were multiple people were home at the time and luckily everybody escaped without harm, which is the most important part. Back here in Shirley, Brookhaven town officials say this building will remain closed as officials examine it for any other damage. We're in Shirley, Andrew Anger, News 12.